Okay guys, in this episode, Mike Green is gonna show you the differences between high ready and low ready, and when you might wanna use each one of those. We're gonna talk a little bit about high ready versus low ready. Back when I went through Special Forces training, CQB training, uh, we were taught both high and low ready. Somehow throughout the years, you know, uh, people started labeling Special Forces as low ready folks, and then Navy SEALs as high ready folks. Um, but again, when I went through training, we did both. We used both, depending upon the situation. So is what we're gonna do is we're just gonna basically take a look at the differences between high and low ready, and then talk about maybe some scenarios where we'd use either one. First is let's go ahead and get a time difference. So I'm gonna shoot a couple rounds from the uh, low ready, and then I'll do it from the high ready. I'll put on the timer. All right, 0.73. Point four one, so we get relatively fast times from the high ready, or excuse me, from the low ready. Not an issue. Now I'm going to do this from the from the high ready. Okay. Point six six. Point six nine. So. The, the quickest I was able to get that is in the sixes, whereas in the uh, low ready, I was able to get down to the point four. So as far as time differences, minimal time differences, but if somebody wanted to split hairs, I know that I can be a lot faster, not a lot faster, but a little bit faster from the low ready. So based on that alone, that's not enough for me to say, hey, I'm gonna stick with a low ready, because the reality of it is, is what's the situation that we're in and why are we using one versus the other? Uh, for CQB is what we typically did was our one man would be in a, in a, in a high ready, ready to come in to do uh, room clearing. Uh, that way he's got his targets up in front of him, he can engage immediately. Uh, our third and fourth man would typically be in the high ready. And one of the reasons why they would be in the high ready is if I had one and two man in particular like this in front of me and they were stuck in the doorway, then I could still come down between them as they were starting to divide and engage the threat. Whereas if I was down here like this, I couldn't get through their gear. So up here, as they are starting to come in, I can engage, all right? Same thing is if I were to come into a uh, situation where um, I was in an active shooter situation or in a mall and there's a crowd of folks coming around, it'd be hard to come up around folks, whereas if I had the ability to keep the gun in the air, then I could basically push people out of the way with the weight of the gun, it's easier to get it back on target as opposed to trying to lift the gun up and pushing someone out of the way, right? And that's basically why I would prefer to use a, uh, a high ready in situations like that. The other thing is I can run typically faster in a high ready position, whereas uh, in the low ready, I'm just, just slightly slower. But in general, if I'm coming into a target or I see a target and I've already got the gun up in my shoulder, then I know I'm gonna be a little bit more ready 